Welcome back. You've heard the term One Health. It gets banded about a lot. Today, we're going to talk about exactly what it is and what the implications are for public health. Don't go away. Stick with me. Let's do this for your show. So One Health is a concept that recognizes the interconnectedness of three things, right? Human health, animal health, and environmental health. So what this means is if you want to address any one of these three things, you have to consider the linkages with the other two because they're all so interrelated and interlinked. I'm, of course, interested in public health, the health of humans, but I cannot address all of the problems associated with the health of humans without considering and understanding and intervening in the space of animal health and the environmental health. And I need to work with colleagues in these areas. So, for example, we've got zoonotic outbreaks, right? These are microbes that jump from animals to humans and infect the human race. And we've seen that with COVID-19 and influenza, Ebola virus, and a list of others, right? We cannot deal pandemic risk without thinking about what's happening with animals. And of course, the environment within which we live impacts on human health. And for so many reasons, I mean, we can't get into all of that in this video, but I mean, we know about climate change uh, and health. And I've got a video on that. We know about air, air quality, et cetera, et cetera. So the environment obviously impacts on health, but it also impacts on animal health and that impacts on human health. What we've got to get our heads around here is that these three issues are absolutely interrelated and, inter and interconnected air quality, et cetera, et cetera. So the environment obviously impacts on health, but it also impacts on animal health and that impacts on human health. What we've got to get our heads around here is that these three issues are absolutely interrelated and, inter and interconnected. Example is when we use antibiotics in agriculture and we use them on farm animals, we get what we call antimicrobial resistance. Just because of the sheer number of these antibiotics that are used, the bacteria become resistant to those antibiotics. And so when those same bugs, those same bacteria infect humans, the antibiotics that we would have used to treat those people no longer work as well. Okay, and we call this antimicrobial resistance. It's a huge problem. So One Health really is an approach to solving problems. It's a multi-sectoral approach. It's an all of society approach. In other words, to solve public health problems, we need to work with veterinary medicine people, we need to work with environmental health, we need to work with the government, we need to work with non-governmental organizations, we need, need to work with civil society. Everybody needs to work together, and that's the only way that we're really going to solve some of these big problems that are facing humanity today. I hope this was useful. Stay and watch another video. Don't ever change, don't do drugs. Boyoshaka. See you soon. Take care.